Hello great YouTubers, welcome back. In our previous tutorial, we were able to control our pump over the internet with ESP8266 program with OpenPLC via MQTT. In this part, we will be building a cool dashboard to control the pump with the help of Node-RED. What exactly is Node-RED? Node-RED is a flow-based program that makes it easy to create event-driven application in a simple and intuitive way. It runs on devices such as Raspberry Pi or in cloud environment, making it very versatile too. It deals with all the complex code, allowing users to focus on solving the tasks at hand. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, so we'll add a relay to our existing board and this is the arrangement of the relay. I grab the ground pin and connect it to the ground of the breadboard and then I grab the power pin which is green and connect it to the 5 volts of the ESP. And now I take off the red LED and then connect one of the relays to that particular point and now connect the other cable to secure it. Now we can see that the LED is on when we power the system on, indicating that it's active low. We need to change this in the program. To do this, I open our existing program, scroll to the pump point, double click on the pump output. And then now invert it okay with that done we send this code back into our esp 8266 okay i check and select the port i check the communication everything is intact and then i come back to the transfer and click on transfer okay with the transfer done we can see that when it's powered the relay is now in the off state great we will now have our Raspberry Pi running the node red and then I access the node red on my laptop and I move to flow 2 and then need to add the MQTT nodes okay this is the receive node and this is the send node and now move on and bring the debugger node and then an injection node 1 and then another one 2 of them I wire them up to the ESP, sorry, to the MQTT send, and then the MQTT receive to the debugging node. Now this is the broker name, and remember we selected this broker name from this particular section, and it is the CloudBit broker, and this is the port 1883. Now you click on this edit, and then paste the broker name here. And this is exactly where the server name is supposed to be and this is the port. You need to specify that and then click update. Okay, we need the topic now. We now scroll to this section and then copy the topic which is open PLC test topic. We click OK here and then we need to paste the topic right here. Okay, click done. And then we need to do same for the send node. So this is the name and this is where the server name is. It's already done. I click done. And now paste the topic as well and then click done. Okay, great. I click on deploy. And now we can see that it's connecting and it's now showing green. We can see it's showing green here, green here, indicating that the connection is successful. I now need to edit the injection node. I click and select string and I will send one to turn the relay on. And in this injection node, I will send two to turn the relay off. So I select string and then select and then the data I will be sending is two. Great. I click on deploy again and then close okay we need to wait for some time 
and we can see it's connecting now connected now when I click on this we can see the relay coming on and then I click on the off the relay goes off remember the information coming is inverted we forgot to update that one as well okay we will now move on and then create a dashboard for this relay control so i scroll to dashboard and select two buttons i selected test also to display the updates from the esp wire them up quickly and now i click on this section and go to dashboard we already have in a dashboard already created i add a new tab and then change this tab to MQTT because this is going to be our MQTT tab. I will now add a new group, change the group description also to MQTT pump control. Great, I click on update. And now I need to now edit the buttons. I double click on it and then select the new tab this MQTT pump control change the label to pump on because this will send the on information or command now the payload I need to select string and then specify the payload which is one and click done I need to do same for this particular button as well select the tab and now change the label name to pump off because this will be sending the off command and now specify the payload and this is going to be two because i'll need to send two to turn the relay off click done okay i need to edit this one too as well oh we selected the wrong node i need to delete it and now pick a test because we'll be able, we will be displaying the information from the ESP okay I need to select the tab and then change the label to pump column and now this is the payload formula okay I click done and now we can see we have everything now I click on deploy and then click on close and then we can see that all our settings are lined up right here nicely I click on the dashboard icon and we have this interface and when you click here we can see the MQTT and then the main the main is our previous work I'll rearrange them quickly and then go back again and then we can see that the arrangement is quite okay now and I click on the on and we can see the relay comes on and then click on the off the relay goes off the state has not been changed that's why on is showing off and off is showing on. but it's really working perfectly here okay so let me do the same with my mobile phone so I access the node red and go to the dashboard and then we can see we have the lovely interface I click on the pump on and we can see the relay is on working perfectly and then I click on the pump off the relay goes off great it's really working well I do same again to see whether it can repeat itself and we can see it's working perfectly well great viewers thank you for watching there's a lot of projects you can do out of this idea kindly subscribe and also give me a thumbs up this will really help me in the youtube algorithm thank you for watching bye bye